Welcome ladies and gentlemen to today's unboxing of our brand new Brother Multifunction Printer. We ordered this on the heels of our previous printer. Now the very first one I purchased was back in 2004. A Brother Multifunction 7420. And that thing has been kicking and churning and working like unbelievably faithfully for the last 17 years and technically it still works now however the components of it have over the last 17 years over time more and more of it has fallen apart to the point where it ran out of toner recently and instead of investing in new toner we decided after 17 years it's time to give it a good well, a farewell party so in that light, given the fact that we got an amazing, an astounding 17 years of reliable functionality out of a brother <laughs> brand printer, I could read reviews all day long about Lexmarks, Dells, Canons, HPs, you name it. But who out there is going to beat that mark? That is unprecedented for a printer. So, Given that streak, I said, you know what? It doesn't matter if it's a cheap printer or an expensive printer. That has proven itself to be worth the investment. So, while the printer I purchased back in 2004 was $450, and this one was not quite that expensive, it's still a Brother printer. And when I was trying to research as to why Brothers hold up so well, I learned something today that I was surprised about that I never knew before. Brother is founded in Japan, which speaks a whole lot about the manufacturing quality of the product. Most things built out of uh, Japan I were manufactured daddy. with the philosophy of if you build a quality product, they'll continue buying from you, and that's where we get customer loyalty and repeat sales. Whereas American manufacturing, generally speaking, not across the board, but in most cases, are building something to sell the labor and parts of repairs, which means stuff breaks down. The old acronym Ford, found on road dead. Yeah, there are some Fords that last very well, but it got the acronym and the scrutiny because of the American manufacturing philosophy. This happens to be a Japanese company, and the original one we purchased worked phenomenally well for an extremely long time. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? We'll open up the side here, we'll open up the side here, we'll cut across the top here, and let's take a look at what this thing looks like. You see the picture here, let's see what it looks like in reality, okay? We'll open up this here, open up this here, and my little helper here. Wonderful. Let me tip this up to the camera so you can see what this looks like. There's not a lot to see with all the packaging there. But we're going to go ahead and open it up for you so you can get a bird's eye view as to what this new Brother printer looks like. Alright. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is out. This is out. There's stuff in there. We'll get that later. Here we go. Alright. And here we go. We have ourselves a brother um, with a label for what kind of toner it takes, which is a very different model than the previous one. That's fine. That's why we didn't order a new printer, a new toner for the old one, because we knew. Whatever new model we got, we were going to need a new toner anyway. Mm -hmm. On the printer, you have a label for the type of toner cartridge it takes, which is good. We'll be ordering that when we need refills. And because we knew this was going to be a different type of toner cartridge than the previous one, so when it ran out of toner, we just didn't buy any new. When we buy more, it'll be this type instead of the old type. Okay? Now, this printer is a multi function L2 7 10 DW model printer. MFC stands for multi-function copier. The L, I don't know what that stands for. 
but the D stands for duplex and the W stands for wireless, okay? That's a new function that did not exist in the previous ver version we got 17 years ago. So yay for technology. <laughs> and this also supports printing from your Apple phone, your iPhone. You can do virtual printing that way, okay? Plus you can print from your laptop device or what have you. You can also do two-sided copying you can do faxing, Wi-Fi, and you have a whole menu of options once we plug this in. So, given that, we have, we have ourselves, this is got some tape on here. We'll show you what this looks like. We're gonna take them both sides here. Okay. I'm gonna show you the flat bed of this thing. Okay, so we have our standard issue flatbed scanner. Now, one thing that applies to all scanners, I never had this issue with a brother previous one, but I have had this issue with HP brands, is that the, if dirt gets in here, that can cause issues with scanning and the quality, especially as it comes to the feeder. It will pick up on any dust particles on the glass here, so you got to keep that clean. Given that, uh, while this can support a good, uh, a good size, a good volume of papers to go through the feeder, we do have a professional grade scanner. So, on small volumes, this might make sense. On large volumes, we would just use the uh, solo scanner for that stuff. Now, given that, this also does help when my wife, who is an amazing artist, okay, makes acrylic paintings like you wouldn't believe. Oh my goodness, you should see her YouTube channel, you should see her website. She has amazing artwork. Well, when she needs inspiration and she needs to make copies of stuff, this printer will do that for her. Now, granted, this is black and white, but something is something, okay? So. Given that, we also have a nice full display here, so it will tell you your status, whether it's ready, whether it's printing, whether it's receiving data, if there's any errors. This screen is why I don't go to with other models that don't have these screens. This information is vital to knowing the status of the device, so you know what to do with it. Do you put more paper in it? Is it receiving data from your computer? Does it have an error you have to look up? This information is vital to keeping the thing functioning, especially in a pressure situation. Okay, so it's got a nice little two column, two um column or row screen there to give you information. So. Um, given that, the rest of this is pretty standardized, a single tr paper tray, you have your front load manual printing, so if you want to do label or something like that, you can shoot it through there and manually shoot that off, or you can, I usually do uh, labels in the bottom tray anyway, but that's beside the point. Given that, welcome to our brand new printer. We hope that my wonderful, amazing, talented wife will get many, 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 many years of fabulous service out of this device. Lord knows this the previous one has set an unprecedented uh, bar, really. You're never going to see that of anybody. So, I am very interested to see if this thing can last as long as the original one did. Yeah. Let's see. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, now that we have the printer plugged in and my wife brought her laptop down, it's time to put in the starter toner cartridge. Now, the starter toner cartridge does not have as much toner ink as a full-fledged toner cartridge. A starter pack comes with a fraction of the amount. In this case, this will give you an estimated 750 pages of printing before you have to replace it. A standard toner cartridge will give you 3,000. Much, much more than this will give you, but given how often we print, this will still last you for quite a while. So, let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, this is the drum kit. This is where the toner cartridge, which is this right here, sits in. We will take off the plastic guards. You don't need them. 
and I will show you. As we take out the as we take out the ton of cartridge here, some things to highlight is because this is a starter pack, the actual toner cartridge itself is a little bit smaller, a little more compact than a standard full-size one, but they will still fit in the same drum unit here. To get the toner out, if you need it to clean the drum or replace the toner cartridge, you press this lever down, pops up, take it out. This is a starter pack. A standard will hold a lot more ink in it, but this is how you would take this out and put it back in. We'll go ahead and open up the printer here. We will slide it in. There are rails on both sides here in which there are rails on the side of the toner cartridge. There's a toner drum here that you just simply feel for when, it, when you hit it and then you slide it down and it goes right in just like that. No muss, no fuss, just slide right in and you're good to go, okay? Now we do have this plugged in, so we'll go ahead and turn this on and now we can see it initializing. And now it's ready to roll. Ladies and gentlemen, now this is where we have put in some paper to the tray. The tray will hold up to 250 pages to reduce the amount of times you have to refill it. A full paper package is 500 pages, so while you can't put an entire bundle in there, half of it will shortly last you for quite a while. Now we're ready to answer some questions here. So yes, one, plain paper, okay, accepted, okay, we're all set, we're all set for printing. Now we need to install the printer onto my wife's laptop. So what you're doing now? I am putting in the model of the printer into Google to get the driver. Now, I always look for a brother, the manufacturer's website itself. If you go anywhere else, like even this here or this up down here, you are potentially going to download a virus. So go look for a brother website. If it's from the manufacturer itself, you'll get genuine manufacturer software. As you can see, it is automatically detecting her operating system. We're going to do the full driver and software package. You could do them individually, but this is a lot more convenient to just do everything in one shot. It should up momentarily. So it's a wireless printer, mm -hmm. but you can use also the wire if you want, right? If sure. It's become it supports. This supports on the back here. Sorry for the noise, fellas. Sorry for the noise, but this is a marble table. Um, it supports Ethernet here, USB here. So you can connect it either way. You won't need either one of these. This is good for being able to network the printer. So if you have a small business, you can make this a shared printer among the staff. You can do ether, USB, Ethernet, or wireless. Now, a couple of features to mention to you is that it's very rare for modern printers to come with USB cable. So we borrowed one from the previous one and we set it up here. After its initial setup, we uh, won't need the wireless anymore, okay? The other element to mention to you is that the uh, printer does come with a driver install CD. 
However, our laptop does not have a CD-ROM drive, so to make things easier, we just download the drivers. If you have a CD-ROM drive and would like to use that to install, feel free. We got the, uh, the printer connected, we did a test page, now we're going to go ahead and try and print one of Mylene's coupons. And that is the correct printer, and here it goes. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned to Mylene's channel for future content. Congratulations to Mylene on your new printer. And thank you everyone for, for watching. Have a wonderful day.